I say, yo, check it out. It's your boy, G -G 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 soldier. Man, what's cracking like it, man? Make sure y'all hit the like button, the subscribe button, notification button, hit all the buttons, man. Salute to all my people who have subscribed to the channel, man. I much love, you know what I'm saying? Like I always tell y'all, we building this mug brick by brick. So, man, I appreciate all the comments, even the haters, even the people who be hating. I love it. Glad y'all got y'all opinions, even the way. You know what I'm saying? Keep on doing your thing. I heard. But today, man, I'm here to talk about Golden State Warriors versus the Los Angeles Lakers. You no, know, uh, you no, know, I've been a everybody you know me. You know I've been a Golden State fan for years and years and years. Follow Steph Curry out of Davis and all this type of stuff. So, you no, know, I ride with my team whether we winning or even in the years that we was losing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a ride up to this piece. So, uh, I want to talk about. The game three, you know, um, first off, before we even get into that, let me tell y'all why I love the Golden State Warriors. First off, the Golden State Warriors is a team that reminds me of me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like they still have that underdog role because, you know, even when you know you great, people still doubt you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I love this team. No matter what, Steph Curry's short, they still be trying to doubt him, man. They doubted us all year. All the commentators up in this book, all oh, they can't win a road game. No, they was talking all stuff. So I told them, whoever was hating, stay over there. Don't do not come on this side when we start winning. And what did they start trying to do? Trying to come on this side. Yeah, I see what happened with the last series, and that's why I love. Golden State Warriors with the Sacramento Kings, you know. I was telling everybody who know me, I said, I want Sacramento. I'm glad we got that, that seed. And everybody was doubting us. Oh, they can't win a road game. We won two road games in that last series. Two. We was down 0-2. That's what I'm talking about. Never question the heart of a champion. I try to tell people that all the time. Never question the heart of a champion. Oh, it's over. As soon as we were down to 0-2, oh, it's over. The Warriors are gone. They're going to lose a four. They're going to get swept. Man, did y'all see what happened? We won three in a row. We tripped at home. I knew, man, that's the thing sometimes don't make me mad about the Warriors. We, we tripped at home. Though. I, I just knew it. I know my team. I knew they was going to play lackadaisy or they oh, it's over. You know what I'm saying? I give Sacramento Kings credit, bro. They are not a team that's going to lay down. They're going to keep coming at you. And we got embarrassed that game. But let me tell you why I love the Warriors, especially Steph Curry, what he did in that game seven speech. You know, Draymond said he texted Steph Curry. Uh, they couldn't sleep at six in the morning or whatever. And the speech Steph, Steph and Curry gave is the speech that, you know, I would probably get to my, y'all know I write and direct movies and all that, I have a team of people, but I love him, he was like, yo, no matter how many minutes you play, or if you don't play minutes at all, if you're going to be a part of this team, you have to be all in or stay home, or you can have your season over right now, either get on board, all the complaining, all this egos and stuff, either leave that here, and then get on this bus, or you, your, your season can be over, and they say Steph Curry, he don't even address the team up in this pit. They say he usually address people individually. But this time he said, listen, I promise you I will get us over this hump. Just trust in me. Believe in me. I need y'all all in with me. And what did he do? Went and dropped 50 in the game seven up in this pit. That's why I love the Golden State Warriors, bro. It's like they different. The organization is different from top to bottom. You know what I'm saying? They all about team basketball. Even when we had KDs and all this type of stuff, they sacrificed payments and all this type of stuff. Steph Curry sacrificed himself for the team. And that's what I respect about Golden State Warriors. They all about winning. Strength in numbers. You remember that? Strength in numbers. So, fast forward to this series. You know, we lost game one. We lost a tough game one. Jordan Poole, uh, don't be so hard on pool. You know what I'm saying? I like pool. I remember my, even last year I told my partner, um, I was like, listen, pool is going to be the sixth man. If Clay Thompson was hurt and pool was coming off the bench last year, I think pool would have been a sixth man. But everybody didn't know nothing about it. They were sleeping on him. And I told him, and y'all see what he did last year. Um, I think he's going to help us win as the series go along, you know, everybody contributes. Everybody helps out. Like you said, who knew Jermichael Green was going to have a, a game two like he had the other day? 
nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's strength in numbers. So when your number is called, you just got to be ready. So right now, you know, Poole was going through a slump, but he's been doing good in this series. In this series, Poole has been doing good with the exception of that 30 footer, whatever he was trying to shoot in game one that could have tied the game. He, he had time to, you know, step up closer, but I respect Jordan Poole and I think he's going to be good. Um, game two, I love the adjustments that Golden State Warriors made. They had the ball and still Curry had. You see what happened in game one when, you know, he was just trying to run off the ball. So I love him being a ball handler because now you can't play that type of defense you got to play. I love Jermichael Green. Hopefully they start Jermichael Green again for this game three because I think that opens up the floor more, gives Golden State Warriors more space. Uh, I love the defense that they were playing on Anthony Davis. They need to keep playing zone. Uh, Draymond, keep on doing what he's doing. In order for us to win this game three, especially going into the crib, you know what I'm saying, Lakers hometown, um, I, I, I don't think we need to make any adjustments. I think we need to focus more on adjustments that we did do in game two and amplify that more. I don't think we need to make any other adjustments other than that. Uh, continue to play zone. I love it. Com to to ten continue to start Jermichael Green. You know, from each series, it changes, you know, from the, the lineups and everything. And I really love that game two lineup. You know, Jermichael Green is a great three-point shooter. Uh, to me, not average. So keep that space open on the floor. Keep the, the ball in Curry's hand. And if they do this and play that defense on Anthony Davis, I think we can – Win. Keep these people out the paint. No more fouls. I love how y'all did a game two without fouling so much because I don't know what the heck y'all was doing in game one. I don't know what the heck, man. They was fouling so much. Well, we had like six or seven free throws total, period, throughout the game. So I love that, man. So uh, I think if the Golden State Warriors stick to the same thing they did in game two, but amplify it even more, focus on that even more, don't rush. Limit those turnovers. I think we can win this game three, especially with the splash brothers. You see what Clay Tops, Clay Tops are getting his rhythm back. Um, yeah, man, space their floor because once that's the once the floor is space, you can get in rhythm more. That's why Clay was able to get in rhythm because that floor was space. That's why Curry was able to do what he do. You know, Curry just stick. I want Curry to stick to the game plan. Don't force anything. Like, forget, be a pass brother. You know, we might not need the Splash Brothers in this series. Be a pass brother for this piece. But for real, just take what's coming to you, you know what I'm saying? And I think Steph will do great. You see, he still got over 20-some points in the last game by just being a ball handler, had many assists. And if we, if we stick to our formula, we would do great. Y'all already know the Lakers going to come with a barrage. They're going to, you know, try to hit you with a couple of them. Uh, you got to take that first hit. They're going to try to do a couple of runs, especially in that building with all the superstars. So if we stay true to ourselves, I think we will be great. I think we would be amazing. You know what I'm saying? So my game three prediction, though, I got even though, you know, like I said, I'm not going to be biased. Even though I love my Golden State Warriors, I'm not going to be biased. But if we do everything we have to do, I got Golden State Warriors winning this game. Um, score. I'm going to say 105 to 95 up in this book. Game three, facts. You know, games change to change. But if we do everything that we got to do, I think I think we can win this whole series too. If we stay true to ourselves. That, you know, everybody always, even after game one, boy, I'd be so shocked at these commentators, these same commentators. Oh, it's over for them. Look at this. Did you see what Anthony Davis did? Shut up. Shut up. He ain't do nothing. Shut up. What did he do? What happened in game two up in this pit? Yeah, my team messed up. Don't ever disrespect the Golden State Warriors. But no, man, as I always say, double question the heart of a champion. So I'm going to be doing these uh, previews and uh, probably recaps for the rest of the, you know, the playoffs, period. Uh, who else we got? Let me talk about the other match real quick. We got Boston Celtics versus Philadelphia 76ers. I think Boston has Philly number. I think Philadelphia may not win another game up in this piece. 
If they don't, I'm gonna love it though, because uh, you know, out of one Achilles heel of the Warriors, the only two teams that I felt if we get, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna say if we get when we get to the finals, but speaking of two existence, manifestation. But the only two teams that worried me was Milwaukee Bucks, who got eliminated by Miami Heat, and the Philadelphia Sixers, the Sixers, because they got Joel and B. Those big men always seem to give us a problem. Go to State Warriors, we need a big man in the offseason, please. But um, yeah, so I don't think Philly might not win another game. If they do win one, I think the series is gonna be over at six. So I got Boston Celtics taking that series four to two. Um, Phoenix Suns versus Denver Nuggets. Even though Denver lost yesterday, I think Denver's gonna come back and steal a game out in uh Phoenix, and I think they're gonna win their series also. Four to two. I think they're gonna win in six. Also, I do think Phoenix is gonna get another win, but maybe not though. If 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 they go down three one, it could get scary. You know what I'm saying? And they Denver going back home, man. You know what? That series might be over in five. I'm gonna just keep it a hundred. If Denver wins tomorrow, that series is over in five. I'm gonna say that right now. I'm standing on that. That is my prediction. I'm standing on it. Miami and New York. Uh, I think that's gonna go seven. Uh, crazy series. I don't know if Jimmy Butler still hurt, but I think that is going to go seven games. I truly believe it. Uh, and who I got coming out of that? Huh? I'm going to say Miami, man. Like Jimmy uh, Jimmy Buckets, you know what I'm saying? When it's in the playoffs, he's a different breed. So even though it's going to go seven, I got Miami edging that. Um, then I get my final prediction later because I got to see what's going to happen after that. But I got the Golden State Warriors in game three over the Lakers, 105 to 95. That's all I got to say, man. So, look, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I got a lot of great content on her, interviews with celebrities. Um, you're a battle rap fan. I got battle rap content. Um, just all type of stuff, man. Man, just Make sure you just tap in, all right? All right, salute to my Golden State Warriors. Subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-